Um, you're with Crown Royal, which is actually one of my personal favorites. How's that relationship been with them? Uh, it's been fun. It's been a great experience. Um, I teamed up with them to, uh, in their water breaks campaign, uh, just encouraging people uh, while out drinking responsibly, uh, just to, uh, you know, take water breaks and, um, and that you know, also supporting their local community. Are you a straight whiskey guy or do you have like a secret cocktail recipe you can give me? <laughs> you just give me a uh, crown apple and Sprite. <laughs> You're a simple guy with the whiskey. That <laughs> so I think a lot of people would agree when I say that uh, when people think of the history of the Houston Texans, you're probably the first person that comes to mind. How do you assess the current state of this franchise? Uh, I, I would say it's, uh, it's just, it's, it, I think they didn't meet expectations uh, this year. You know, you hate to be in a situation where you have to go through the process of hiring a new coach and a new GM. So, I mean, I, I just think right now, I think that's probably just the main thing now is just figuring out who that head coach and general manager is going to be to see what direction the franchise is going to go in. Yeah. I think uh, a lot of Texans fans were shocked and kind of mad when DeAndre Hopkins was traded. I want to know what was your reaction when he got traded because I'm I'm sure you guys are pretty close. Yeah, I, I was I was shocked just like everyone else was. Um, you know, it was something, and you know, you just really couldn't believe. You know, it was just my phone was ringing like crazy. You know, I thought something bad had happened. Well, it, something bad did happen, but <laughs> I thought it was like a, a real bad emergency or something. One of my friends, he was like, man, look at ESPN. I cut the TV on and I was like, wow. So yeah. um, I just, no no one really knew what to say. You know? It was yeah. just a lot to take in at the time. Yeah. When you, did you have any advice for him when it when it all went down? Like, I know you said you were just as shocked as everyone else, but what, what kind of, what'd you tell him when that happened? <laughs> um, we talked about it. Um, he was uh, he was actually anxious to get to Arizona. Um, he really didn't want to leave here, but uh, you know things happen, and mm -hmm. he's, uh, he's very happy um, in Arizona. You know, I talk to him a lot still. Um, you can you can just hear it in his voice. You know, when you talk to him, you know, he's very excited about what they have there and the um, upcoming future for that organization. So basically, if you were a GM or coach, you wouldn't have made that trade, is what you're saying? No, I wouldn't trade it. No, I wouldn't. Have. Once I think once the trade happened, yeah. like it, it just everybody was just so mad about it mm -hmm. to where it was just like you know. So now you have people like, oh, he needs to go and things like that. Um, but I think too. The, the not having the off season has played a part in it also. So you have, uh, you know, guys not being on the same page. So <clears throat> you trade DeAndre and you bring in two other receivers that Deshaun has no <laughs> chemistry with and you have no off season. So now you have to try, try to figure things out on the fly. So I think that, you know, the way all that played out, it just it just kind of all combined together. Um, also, I don't know if you saw Will Fuller. Um, he recently posted on Instagram that he was suspended for um, somehow the doctor did, gave him some wrong medicine, medicine or whatever. But have you spoken to him? What's your relationship like with him? Uh, I haven't spoken to him since uh, that has happened. Um, okay. I've actually seen Will, I think it was uh, maybe like two weeks ago. Uh, but um, I'm definitely, I'm, I'll definitely reach out. So I'm sure he has a lot of people doing <laughs> him right now. Um, yeah. But, uh, you know, just to, you know, to keep him encouraged, you know, things happen and, you know, you just have to keep moving forward. You can't let, you know, that one situation define your career. You know, um, yeah. it's happened and, you know, you just got to keep moving on. 
this past week the Hall of Fame finalists were announced and this time next year you'll be eligible. Is that something that's ever crossed your mind? Yeah, I, I, I've thought about it. Um, I have people bring it up to me more than I think about it. Uh, <laughs> you know, because it's a process. You know, at the end of the day, you have to wait, you know, your five years or whatever. So um, I'm sure when I'm, when I'm up for it, I think about it more, you know, but uh, I tell people, you know, who wouldn't want to be in the Hall of Fame? Like, that's the oh, best. For sure. <laughs> uh, we'll see what happens. I think it's safe to say him, Peyton Manning, Charles Woodson, they'll strongly be considered for first ballot induction. But of the three, do you have any specific memories of playing against them and, and being like, wow, they're a Hall of Famer? Um, well, I played, played against Peyton a lot because we were in the same division. Yeah. Um, I used to just sit on the sideline and just watch him. I mean, the way he, you know, ran his offense and the things that he did, uh, you know, I just used to sit there and I used to be like, man, like, that's why he's the best, you know. He he comes in and he gets he gets the job done and he makes it happen. I, I, I would say Peyton because I played against him the most and I got to see him. Were there any uh, memories of beating him where you were like, okay, I slayed the dragon. Thank you, next. <laughs> um, I remember the first time we, I can't remember what year it was. Uh, I remember the first time we beat the Colts. It was on Christmas Eve. That's one of the best Christmas presents I ever had. <laughs> <laughs> hey, sports fans. If you want to see more videos like this, check out some of our other ones right here. And if you like what you see, make sure to hit the subscribe button and stay tuned for more from USA Today Sports.